everyone, it's Fan. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're enjoying my videos and I hope you enjoy this one today. As you can see from the title, um, I'm going to be doing a peach look today and I'm going to be doing it glam so I'm going to be putting lashes on as well. Before we start, I'm really sorry about my breakout here. Uh, it's not very pleasant and it really hurts. Um, so I do apologise before we start about that. I don't know if anyone else can relate to me but I find that my skin gets really clear and then I get one nasty breakout and I'm basically back at square one. For anyone that suffers with acne or breakouts then you will understand what I mean by that. So as I said I'm going to be doing a peach makeup look today. I'm going to be wearing lashes, it's something I don't usually go for but I just thought I haven't done it before um, on a video so I thought I would do a glam look and put lashes on as well. I love peach colours, I think it's really summery and I'm going to try something new. I saw it on a video tutorial uh, that I watched a few days ago and I thought that I would try it as well. Bye! Bye! So let's get going. I don't know if you've ever tried it before but I actually sometimes use blush art on my eyelids because I find blush gives a much more better, better pigment especially with like pinks and peachy colours. So I'm going to be using the Milani uh, Blusher, which I do use on my cheeks as a really nice peach colour but I'm going to be using it on my eyes today as just a base colour all over and this colour is Luminosity which you can buy in Boots. Um, Milani is, I didn't really know about the brand until Boots started selling it but they do some really really nice products. I'm just going to start by washing this over my eye area. As you can see, it's literally just washed over the eyelid area and it's really subtle as well. So I'm going to go in with my Judas palette, uh, it's the Judas, uh, by Ju the Deuce by Judas. Um, I'm going to be using this colour here and this colour here uh, and it's called Trim and Crepes. So they're quite corally colours, uh, this one's a little bit darker so I'm going to be using that um, in the corner of my eye and blending through. As you can see, we're just going to start to build up colour. I'm just going to use my angle brush number seven with the Crepes colour, which is more of a darker sort of orangey colour, just around the corner area just here. By the way, guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I know I work for a makeup brand, but what I do is how I like my makeup, and I hope you enjoy watching, but I'm not a makeup artist, so please don't think I'm trying to tell you how and how to do your makeup, because I'm really not. And as you can already see, this is really, really, already defining the peach colour and it's making the peach colour a lot more defined and standing out as well. I just use little subtle formations when I'm doing my eyeshadow. I'm just going to use the correct colour again underneath my eye area. white sparkly colour um actually no no I'm not forget what I said actually I'm gonna go with my MAC palette which is the uh, warm neutrals and I'm gonna use the goldy colour just here and I'm gonna be using that just here I'm loving these colours already I'm gonna use my Moroccan Sand from number seven. It's like seven pounds, really like this eyeshadow, it's really good pigment as well. And I'm just gonna be using that in the corners. And then I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner across my eye lid, and um, so I'll get back to you once I have done that. So as you can see, I've done a really thin black line across my eyes. I don't want it too heavy, I just want it quite thin. So I've just used uh, my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Feline Flick for that look. Really weird hand gesture. 
I'm then going to be using my collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Eyeliner just across the top of where the eyeliner is and um, so I'll get back to you again once I've done this. As you can see I've just put some glitter on my eyelids and I'm just going to put my lashes on now. So these are the Allure's, they are the 101's, they are my favourite. They're a really nice sort of soft glam look, they're not too much if you aren't used to wearing lashes then I would definitely recommend the 101's. The glue's really good that comes with them. Uh, they're about 5 99 from like Boots or Superdrug, they are my favourite lashes ever. I'm just going to put these on, or attempt to, and then I'll get back to you. But again, my lashes from Allure have usually gone really easy, that's why I really like them, and they're just like a soft glam look. So I'm going to do my base, and then I'm going to get back to you guys. So my foundation, I'm just going to use my uh, loose powder from number seven just to set my foundation in place. Do my brows quickly. I'm going to go with my number 7 bronzer in maple, um, obviously on my contour uh, lines and around my forehead. I'm going to use the Karen Soft Peach on my cheeks to give me a really nice peach glow. I don't find this is too much. Um, obviously with my eyes being quite bright, sort of like a peach colour, I don't want anything too peachy on my cheeks. I just want a slight tinge of pink, peach. Sorry. Next, I'm going to go in my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Beauty Light Wand, obviously on my cheekbones, to give like a really glow effect to this look. God, look at that highlight. How good is that? Um, and then last, I'm going to follow us with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipstick in. Miranda May. I'm just coming this light just so you can see my eyes a little bit better and this lipstick. I'm just going to curl my hair with the Mark Hill Ellipse Waver just to complete this look. Guys, so I'm back. I've ellipsed my hair with the Mark Hill Ellipse Waver which just gives it like a really soft glam look. But I'm really, really happy with the way this makeup look turned out. And if you want me to leave any uh, products in the description box, I will, um, so you know what I've used today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you've enjoyed this makeup look. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.